It's 4 40 in the morning. I have a scan project in uh, Phuket today. About one and a half hour flight. Yeah, I have uh, arrived at the skate park. Uh, they will build a uh, tensile structure canopy over this area to cover all of the skate park. My job is to scan the location of the footing here that they already made. 18 in total okay let's take a look at my uh, scanning gear i will connect the scanner to the gps receiver attached to this uh, backpack and here's the computer units that i use for a handheld scanning okay then i remove the scanner from the handle and attach to the backpack here Here's the LiDAR scanning head unit and then I connect the GPS receiver to the computer so now the scanner and the GPS receiver will work together using the RTK network from the 4G so I put the camera uh, over the scanner and on the right side is the recorder screen for my uh, mobile phone it shows the scanned object and also the location of me scanning in the area uh, if you look at the top here you can see there is a fixed message uh, on the screen which means that the RTK GPS receiver is working so the scanner will track using the GPS uh, which is uh, has the corrected data from the RTK network provider so the accuracy of the GPS is somewhere around 8 to 12 millimeters so in this open area which has a very low feature no walls no ceiling uh, the scanner will use the data from the GPS for uh, tracking so if I don't use the RTK GPS receiver uh, it will lose the track and it will show uh, it will show like overlap walls and uh, the accuracy will be uh, lower Even though I use the RTK GPS receiver, I still have to come back to complete the loop. I have to come back to where I start. The scanning area is around 3000 square meters and it takes about uh, 14 minutes to complete the scan. Uh, here's the post processing in the software, uh, which is the FJD Trion model software. I bring uh, the scan data from the phone and export to the computer, PC computer, and then uh, map the point cloud uh, which takes around the same time as the scanning about 13-14 minutes uh, with the uh, uh, Core i9-14900K CPU Okay, let's take a look at the result. Uh, this is the new version of the scanner software FJD Trian Models version 200. Uh, this is a regular wheel of the point cloud. It has a new display mode, which is X-Lay. As you can see here that it's very sharp.
the alignment of the point cloud is uh, related to the uh, north and south so the y-axis is the north on the point here for example I will also get the xy coordinates and also the global coordinates uh, xg, yg and zg this is the uh, GPS coordinate. There's some other new features <coughs> here is the clipping box. Uh, the clipping box now uh, work much better. I also can do some uh, measurement uh, when the clipping box is on. For example, I want to measure the height. Here is uh, 0 0.88. It's very easy. I also can check the distance for example from this footing to this footing 13.08 meters the quality of the point clouds when after mapping it's very sharp the wall line is very thin okay let's take a look in the cat software this is AutoCAD I import the uh, point clouds and then I trace the location of the footing which is very easy I can get all the uh, orientation of the footings all 18 footings Uh, this uh, is required for the design of the uh, tensile structure or this uh, area if I turn off the here the point clouds I can get the uh, plan layout in uh, less than two hours after the survey and then I use the survey result from the scanner to design the uh, prefabricate steel frames for the tensile structure uh, with a really tight tolerance uh, about less than two centimeters so this is uh, the design that I made with the tensile structure to cover the this uh, skate park uh, it will be uh, covered with the this new tensile structure so that the player can use the area when it's, when it's raining uh, because in Phuket it rains very often this will encourage more people to come and use this park I think the building will start uh, in uh, one month and it should be finished within this year 2024 so, hold on to that. Thanks for watching.